Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of true school sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, this news is a bit old. This came out on October 17th via ringtv.com. So, shout out to ringtv.com and all the fine folks over there who work hard in covering the sport of boxing, although I don't always agree with their rankings. But anyway, they had an article a couple about well, yeah, October 17th, and it was about. um. The Irish Olympic fighter Michael Conlon, who recently has just signed with Top Rank um, to start his pro career, and he's making his pro debut soon. The article was about his pro debut and the magnitude of it. Um, it was being reported by every magazine that Michael Conlon's pro debut will be at Madison Square Garden for the main event. Now, let me say this, man. I think, because you got to think of it like this, right? Michael Conlon is a very talented fighter, right? We have we and although he is an Irish fighter, you know there will be a lot of pressure to sign with probably Matchroom Boxing due to the fact that they're probably like the close of oh, the big promotional companies. You know, Golden Boy, Top Rank, Al Heyman, um, and Matchroom. He, he probably there probably a lot of pressure to sign with Matchroom due to the fact that it's the closest of oh, the big promotional companies to him. So him not signing with Eddie Heron comes as somewhat of a big surprise, but. I give Conlon a lot of credit because from a business standpoint, while there would be a lot of pressure to sign with Eddie Hearn, and look, I'm a huge fan of Eddie Hearn. You know, we don't say thank you, Al Heyman, on this channel. We say thank you, Eddie Hearn. Shout out to Eddie Hearn. Um, Michael Conlon, Michael Conlon went and did what was best for him business-wise, and he looked at the track record of what Top Rank has done for guys who are just like him, you know, Olympic blue chip talents. And look, you know, Bob Arum and his matchmakers are the best in boxing, and the track record proves that, you know, with the likes of Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Miguel Cotto, you know, Manny Pacquiao. The recent history shows that Top Rank is the best at building stars. Terrence Crawford, um, Lomachenko, you know, they have some of the best fighters of the last 15, 16 years, all, period. They built them um, as far as, their, as boxers, and, and Colin signed with them, look, they're going to do... Um, for him, I think they're going to fast track the hell out of Colin. Colin's pro debut is slated for March 17th at Madison Square Garden, which happens to be St. Patrick's Day. Um, and here's what Bob Arum had to say about that. He said, I quote, Thousands of people are going to be flying in from Ireland to New York to watch it. It's going to be an unbelievable event. I think Michael is going to be a major star. Uh, yeah, so that's what it is, man. Colin, obviously, very famous for uh, losing in the quarterfinals to the Russian fighter. I think his name is Nikitin, Vladimir Nikitin, or something like that. And Conlon, basically, you know, he lost the fight. A lot of people thought he won. I thought, when I saw that, I, I, I thought he won. And he didn't get the decision, and he had the infamous interview, and he flicked off the judges, and that gained him a lot of notoriety. And the AIBA is very corrupt, as we all know, in the amateur boxing system. Now, with that being said, um... I'm gonna say it like this: Collins gonna get fast tracked, uh, and we're gonna see what this kid is made of. You know, a lot of these guys we've seen a lot of Olympians with talent come to the pro ranks and and, and not do so well, uh, or not live up to the potential. We're gonna see what happens. I think you know, Daryl Bob Aaron was gonna give that kid every opportunity to be successful. Um, hopefully, he puts a, a good team around him so that he doesn't get robbed in the process. But as far as from a boxing standpoint, and becoming a world champion and becoming a star in boxing, especially being Irish, you know, he's gonna he's gonna get fast tracked. He's going to be someone who's fighting very frequently, and they're going to push him to a world title um, when the opportunity makes itself available. So, that's the newsman, Michael Conlon, making his debut March 17th, Madison Square Garden. Uh, probably be in the small room. I, I don't think it'll be in the Madison Square Garden, but uh, yeah, man, let me, let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me, or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So, until next time, take care, guys.